How Christians are practicing witchcraft unknowingly. Witchcraft at its core is trying to control another person to do what you want that is contrary to what the Lord would want for them in their life. This nature often manifests itself in, even in infancy in efforts to control other people. We feel secure if we can control others. Conversely, God never seeks to control us. He respects our free will that he's given each of us, although he does hold us responsible for how we use that freedom. So there are three ways that desire to control expresses itself. Number one is through manipulation, number two, intimidation, and number three, domination. The goal is to dominate the other person. People who recognize that they are weaker than those they seek to control tend to manipulate. Those who feel stronger tend to intimidate. But the end purpose is the same, and that is to dominate. That is to control others and get them to do what we want. That is not what the Lord would want for them. You know, Galatians 5, 19 through 21 talks about now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lewdness, idolatry, sorcery. And it goes on and says hatred, contentions, jealousies, outbursts of wrath, selfish ambitions, you know, envy, murders, drunkenness, partying, and the like. And it says that people who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So there's a lot of people that are in the church that are trying to make you do what they feel is best for you. And they may even say, thus saith the Lord. But if the Lord is guiding you and directing you not to do what they want, uh, understand you need to follow what the Lord is telling you and not what the other people are. A lot of times these other people aren't healed of their wounds, aren't delivered of their demons, and they are trying to control and make you do what their demons are telling you to do and not what the Lord is telling you to do. Again, people that are healed and delivered can suggest that, hey, this is what my counsel would be for you, but they're not going to shame you and keep bringing it up every single week that they see you saying, hey, you better do what I'm telling you to do, otherwise bad things are gonna happen. You know, that is a subtle form of witchcraft. And there's a lot of people, of course, in the church, a lot of people outside the church that do that, a lot of families that do that. You know, uh, a lot of cousins, a lot of uh, grandparents uh, and parents, of course, that will try to make uh, the, those in their family do what they want. And they think that they're doing and saying what is best for you, but it may not be at all. So again, you can get your soul wounds healed and get delivered with my book, Freedom from Soul Wounds and Demons. It's available on Amazon and paperback, Kindle and Audible. And I also take people through personal sessions to get healed of those wounds and get delivered of those demonic strongholds. You can email my assistant, Tina, Tina K at RestoredToFreedom.com, or you can call 317-459-7091. All right, thanks. Bye.